Hey guys, this is Dillpill Tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching another one of my videos. Um, this is adding on to a previous video that I made, uh, which involved hex editing. I uh, referred you to download Hex Editor Neo, which I do have, but I, I prefer to use XVI32, which is another hex editing, uh, a free hex editing program that I found, and I like it just a little bit better. Uh, so here we have two, uh, I'm going to be showing you a practical use, just gonna tell you, of hex editing because it may seem like a very very strange thing to want to ever do to view the hex edit uh, the hex code of a file uh, but I'm going to show you a practical use for it uh, here we have a windows text file this is line one of this text, this is line two of the text uh, made in windows uh, here we have one un made under unix and you can see that it's looking kind of funky, the line break here is way off however it uh it should say the same thing. If we open this under Unix, it would look exactly like this. So, using hex editing, we're going to convert the Unix text file into a Windows text file. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the Windows text file so we can see what is different about these two. Uh, you can see the text over here, and you can see the uh, the hex data over here. So you can go over each one and view what each one does. Here's the line break, 0D, 0A. That is uh, where our problem rose, so we're going to want to remember that, 0D, 0A. Let's go ahead and open up the Unix text file now and see what's different. Uh, let's go straight to the line break, 0A. Uh, there is no 0D as there was in the Windows. This uh, would be a problem, but easily fixed using um, hex editing. We can just quickly insert 0D into it and uh, save it. Then when we open up the Unix text file, it looks exactly like the Windows one. To insert uh, using XVI, you just simply overwrite uh, the, uh, I'll just do it again here, see how it's 0D, 0A. Now when I'll type 66 into this, and then 0D and the 0A get pushed over, and as you can see the 66 value is actually an F in uh, hex editing. We're going to head to put and push delete to get rid of that though because we don't want to uh, interfere with our text file. Um, so be careful about doing this too and editing random stuff because that can severely damage any valuable files you may have. So that is one practical use, a very simple but still practical use for hex editing. This can be used to uh, transfer any almost or convert almost any text file um, from any operating system or other program that specially creates them. Uh, just you need to look at the line breaks from each, preferably get a Windows, find the line break in the text file of the different one and change it so the line breaks are correct. Some may even use a different kind of data and you will get very very different symbols for each um, value. So I recommend getting XVI. Go ahead and try this. Very easy. Just type anything you want into a Windows text file and then the Unix text file you can even make on Windows by changing the uh, these two back. And if you really wanted to give it a, a good test, thorough testing, you could even transfer it over to a different computer using Win uh, Unix and observe how it's the same as the Windows text file that is, views that is viewed on Windows. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. Uh, I'll be making more videos soon, hopefully. Uh, just keep your eye out.